Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And today we're gonna talk about comments and why I believe you should hold them for approval on your YouTube channel at all times. Now, for those of you that do know and follow my other YouTube channel, I have an active channel with 46,000 subscribers. So I get quite a bit of comments every day. Some of them go to the spam tab and some of them go to the held for review tab and some of them go directly to the published comment tab. I'm gonna talk about all three tabs and why some comments go to each tab and why some don't. For those of you that are just getting your channel started or don't get a lot of comments, some of this might not make sense to you, but once you start receiving comments on a regular basis, then you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. And you can always come back to this video at a later time and reference it um, when you do start getting those comments. So here's a screenshot. This is my 46,000 uh, subscriber channel that you guys are looking at. Currently, I have it on the published comment tab. And then of course, next to that is the held for review and the likely spam. So let's start with the likely spam because that's the least amount of comments and probably the one that you don't see the often or that often. Um, currently, I have six likely spam comments awaiting. And basically what this is, is literally the spam. I mean, it's like the guys trying to sell you money from, or gold bars from Nigeria. Like if they put email addresses or they're just really bad, that's where they will end up is in this um, tab or this folder, whatever you want to call it. So you can see just a few examples of mine. It says, I am a professional trusted hacker, not fake ones. I mean, what kind of comment is that? So these come right here. They're pretty easy. You can just select all and remove them. Just do a quick once over because I have had a few of my regular subscribers actually end up in this folder on accident. So just do a double check. You shouldn't get that many and just make sure that everyone that's in this folder is legitimately spammed. Check all and then hit remove. It should be pretty easy for you. Again, my channel with 46,000 subs only has six in this folder. I hardly ever even look at this folder. The second folder we're gonna look for is the held for review. So every time somebody leaves a new comment on your channel, it's gonna come here. The only exception to this rule is if you have moderators or admins, their comments are automatically approved, or if your video is older than 30 days, almost all of your comments will automatically get approved on that video. I have seen some really troll comments appear on some of my old, old videos. There's really nothing I can do but to go to that video and just remove the comment if I want them gone. But for the most part, almost every new comment will come in this uh, folder for you to either approve, remove it, or report it as spam. If you report it as spam, anytime that person comments on your channel, in the future, their comments will automatically go to your spam folder. Or you can just right click, open a new tab, open that person's YouTube and block them, which I'm not gonna block this person, but I'll show you guys. You would just open it in a new tab. You'd come over here and you'd hit the flag and you'd hit block user. And then that would remove them from ever being able to comment on your channel again. Um, and then you can remort, uh, report it as spam under this folder and it will get rid of all of their comments at once. It removes all their comments. So pretty uh, handy tool right there. Um, all of these people that are pretty much awaiting it are in, um, they're like my regular subscribers, so they're good to go. I just need to approve it. The downside to this is that your comments don't appear right away, which can sometimes make people wonder like why their comments aren't showing up or it slows down the conversation. But Trust me, it's well worth it if you got some people trolling you and you don't want those negative comments up, it will keep those from appearing until you remove them. Um, my folder has 85, and the reason it has 85, other than the fact that I get a, sh a boatload of comments, is that um, I hold a lot of my troll comments in order to create mean comment videos. Like those celebrities read mean tweets, I do Rockstar Flipper reads mean comments. So it's pretty cool. It gives me an extra set of content and videos. If you ever get to that level, you'll be able to do that as well. Um, and then once you have approved those comments, they will appear in the published comment. The published comment section is all of your comments that actually show up on your videos live as you're watching them. As soon as you hit approve in the held for review, if you come over to publish and hit refresh, they will appear. And then you can literally use this page to comment, like, or respond to any comment that you get on any video on your channel. If you look to the right side, it's every single video that you have and then every comment that appears on that. And you can just scroll down and this is how I respond to hundreds of comments in the matter of about 30 minutes. Um, it's over here on the community setting, comment section, and then held for review or published comments. If you need to change this, come down to that same community section. The next to last option is community settings. This is where you can set up your moderators, which I have five of them. 
and then you can hit all of your blocked users, which I have a lot of them. Um, you can do blocked words, and then you can also come down to your default settings, and this is where you allow all comments, hold inappropriate comments, hold all comments, or disable comments. So we don't wanna disable comments. Comments help your CPM and your interaction ratio, which allows your CPM to grow higher. And also when eBay, or I'm sorry, YouTube is ranking your, this is an eBay channel I run, so I'm always saying eBay, but whenever YouTube is ranking your videos, the more interaction you get, the more likes, the more comments, the higher in the search algorithm, YouTube will put your video. So you definitely wanna have comments, do not disable them. Just hold the comments for review. And then also comments on your channel, comments on new videos and messages. You can also do a hold on inappropriate for messages. And what you'll do there is just set your blocked words up for any words that you want to be blocked. Like if you wanted curse words or if you wanted your name or your address, you could put all that in there. And anytime anyone says that, it'll block it. So that's what you do for YouTube. That's how you block out trolls. That's how you hold your comments. And that's how in the future, you'll make sure that there's nothing negative on your channel. Make sure you guys set those settings up. If you have any questions or any problems or you need help setting that up, make sure you uh, leave it in the comment section or message me privately and I'll help you do it. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, it is my new channel. I'm trying to grow it without promoting it through my original channel. And hopefully you guys will learn a lot and grow your own YouTube channels using my videos. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you next time.